how to use monday.com crm for beginners hey guys welcome back if you are looking for a effective crm system then monday.com has a lot of bases covered it allows you to integrate your crm into multiple different aspects of your business and they have a particular sales crm they also offer you project management platforms as well so let's log into monday.com if you don't have an account already you can sign up with your email address and once you sign up that is all you have to do you can get started with a template or you can also use a blank slate so you can build your own crm that is totally up to you now i have just opened up my workspace on monday.com so on monday.com you will see your main workspace over here and each workspace is separated so the information or data that you put in one workspace won't be interchangeable into your other one let's build a new crm workspace so to do that all you have to do is click on add workspace and this is going to be a open workspace so any member that i've added in my workspace can join and i'll click on add workspace now once you click on add workspace this is my new workspace and once i have my workspace ready you can edit the icon as well so let's say i want this and red like this i can click on add from templates and from here you can choose any kind of template that you want so you have sales docs forms project management content production and so much more but we're focusing on crm so you can click on crm now you have some distinctive types of crm as well you have a basic crm real estate crm contact customer project supporting sales material customer onboarding depending on your particular need now if you're not sure which one applies to you you're not sure which industry you fall in you can just click on basic crm and then you can later on customize this to fit your niche so if you're in real estate marketing or project management whatever it might be now you guys can see our template has been loaded so sometimes it can be a little overwhelming when you see the template loaded up because it has a lot of different things but i'm going to break it down for you guys and you guys will see we will be handling contacts accounts and leads how you can streamline your sales acquire contacts through these methods as well as task management visually tailor your dashboards and utilize this template effectively so you guys will see once the sample template is loaded you will see in your basic crm you have four different sections so the first is a doc file which is basically an explanation of this you can easily just delete this like this because we don't really need it i'll break it down for you guys anyways but the first board is your deal tracker this is basically your major CRM setup. So in the setup, you have your active deals, closed, as well as any other group you want to add. You have this main listicle view, as well as you can add a Kanban view. So in the Kanban view, you can see discovery, proposal, negotiation. The Kanban view is organized based on the particular stage that a deal is in. Then you have your contacts. So your contacts are going to be any of the businesses, customers, or people that you are working with. These are some of the sample contacts that have been added. Then you have your sales dashboard. So if I go on to the sales dashboard over here, now you will see this is a premium tool. So on the sales dashboard, if you want these detailed sales dashboards, you do have to upgrade on Monday. But if you want to, just keep the free version if you want to use a dashboard without having to upgrade you can choose to create a basic dashboard without any kind of illustrative measures so bar charts graphs all of those pie charts bar charts graphs all of those are on the premium version of monday.com but on the free version you can still get some overall information about your deals or your overall business project now let's go back into the deal tracker and i'll show you guys how you can break this down now, the first thing you have to do is know how you want to categorize your deals. So you have your basic deal names. This is the basic deal name. Then a empty section for a conversation is added. Then the stage that the deal is at. Then the owner. So who is the person managing or if there is a particular person that you're in contact with, you can add that. Then you have your contacts, the priority of this deal. 
as well as the deal length. So how long has this deal begun? Then you have the deal value and then they have the average and sum of these deals. Then if you scroll ahead, you have the closing date and the deal creation date. So the deal creation date has been averaged, has been used as a, a method to pull out the deal length. If you click on the column information, this column indicates how many days have passed since the deal was added. So you can add these kinds of formulas at, into any kind of monday.com column. You can click on over here. Let's say I want to add another, another type of information. So this is the deal value. Let's say I want to add something else. So I'm going to click on over here, formula. And you do have to upgrade to pro, although you can create a formula, a basic formula for free as well using their free trial. But let's say I'm just going to add text and this might be potential revenue. So in potential revenue, I can add whatever the numbers might be like this. So you guys can see you can add whatever numbers you have for your items. And then on the bottom, you can add a column for the sum of all of these numbers. So if you click on over here, you can click on settings, add description potential revenue obviously is going to be pretty self-explanatory but if i want to convert this then i do have to upgrade or use my free trial to be able to use the formulation uh formulation to have a sum as we see in the pre-existing template so other than that you can also do mean median mode as well as average and uh, average in different currencies as well as percentages so after that you have your closed deals they have been categorized the same now in the kanban view it's slightly different it's based on these stages that everything is in so discovery proposal negotiation if it's a sales channel it might be contact or lead generation lead accumulation lost leads or uh, recurring leads something like that now let's build a similar view so you guys can easily customize this to be your own to do that, you can simply click on over here and you can add another page. So I want to create a new board and this new board is going to be called deal managers like this. And I'm just going to go with items over here and I'm just going to create a new board. So I'll show you guys how you can customize this. Now, the first thing you have to do is you're going to get two groups. Then you have your statuses. Then you will get a timeline view. However, timeline views are premium and I find it easier to work on a Kanban view. So you're going to click on this plus icon over here, click on Kanban, and then you want to enter status based view. Now in my main table, I'm going to add potential deals, closed deals like this. And then I'm going to rename this item section. So you will see your title cannot be edited for the item section. So you can customize this. So you can click on clear and you can also delete these columns if you want. But I'm going to just add my deals. So this might be a Sony deal or Resurrect deal, whatever your deal name is. Obviously with each deal, you can click on file and add more information. This is categorized on an item. Now, if you want to make a different type of view, so if you're not managing items like we are over here, you can click on new board and instead of items, you can add custom and then you can directly add deals like this. So this is usually easier because you don't have to edit a lot later on instead of having to edit later. And I'll show you guys the difference that it makes. So you guys can see over here, it, it's going to obviously say item, but in the new board, it says deal. And then I can add my deals as well. Now, after that, you're going to create your Kanban view like we have. And then on the Kanban, these things are going to be added in the form of the stages that they are in. So the statuses or stages that they are in are determined over here. But for us, these are going to be different. So you're just going to click on edit label. And you're going to remove the pre-existing ones and just add your own. So this might be proposal, consideration, won, and then lost. And after that, I can assign a potential color like this. And then I'm going to click on apply. And then these will be categorized like so. And then if I go into my Kanban view, you will see these particular stages that have been added. Now, other than that, you can also integrate applications to make your work on monday.com easier. So to do that, you can open up any particular board that you want to add a automation to. 
and then you will see on your top right you have automate now there are a lot of different rules that you can set up so you can click on automation center and once you click on automation center you can create a rule as you wish or you can also create a pre-existing rule so a lot of the frequently used rules are added over here let's say you want particular notifications or if you want updates on how your deals are going you can add one of those automations you can click on notifications so let's say when a column changes notify someone i want to be notified so i can add this automation obviously this is also a premium feature as well so we're integrating applications so you guys can open up the application center and you can integrate your applications such as your email marketing tool your project management tool communication tool uh, google drives and any other type of tool that you're using there are quite a load of integrations available for crm use on monday.com so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video